Oh! <laughs> How good is this spot? morning Belfast is the start of uh, this location based video uh, you see behind me the Titanic building and it lends itself to a real idol of mine Billy Curry it lends itself to one of them shots big long exposure really grey clouds today so we're setting off here uh, and then we're heading up the coast uh, hopefully to get up to the Giants Causeway for uh, sunset tonight and then we've got a couple of days um, trekking around the north coast of, uh, of Northern Ireland uh, castles, rope bridges, all sorts of things planned for the next uh, couple of days. Weather well, forecast is brilliant, but hey ho, let's see what we can do. Um, so, without further ado, let's crack on. Sadly, a severe delay in our hire car meant that was all we had time for on day one. So onwards and upwards, uh, day two. Off to the Donegal coast today, up the coast and see what we can find up there. After a short interlude travelling up the coast with some spectacular light, we came to the first stop. Well, we've come down to Donegal and now we're having a ride up the uh, wild Atlantic way. You can see the dark sea behind us here with some quite dramatic light. They just uh, managed to get a couple of pictures of that. I'll show you shortly. I literally had to stop the car and try and catch these crepuscular rays over the mountains in the distance. Fantastic. So we're going to basically trek up the southern Irish coast all the way back round to Londonderry uh, before um, New Year's Eve tonight. So uh, this is the start of the Wild Atlantic Way and we'll see what we get on the way. But for now, let's have a look at the pictures we've just captured. Beautiful. So here we are, one of the stop offs on the way. Fintra Bay. Wasn't a planned stop. Let's have a look what it's like. Very nice indeed. Before long, we were following the signs for the wild Atlantic Way as it wound its way up the elevated coastline. Whoa! <laughs> How good is this spot? This is absolutely epic. This storm here, this rock, and the mountains in the background and the late afternoon sunlight, what a combination. Just absolute class. Absolute class. I've just got one of the waves uh, crashing over this rock, which hopefully I'll show you shortly. And it's just a fantastic scene here. I mean, there's loads of rocks along the beach you could spend forever here. Unfortunately, time is against me. We've got to get up the coast. We've got some uh, cliffs to see. I've only got about an hour of sunlight, so I need to crack on. But what a fantastic place, Muckhead Beach. Muckhead viewpoint on the wild Atlantic way. Get it on your list. Definitely a good place to come. Cliffs, glass, cliffs. See various signs. 
see behind is quite a spectacular um, set of cliffs on the dramatic coastline. Unfortunately, the light never materialised and sunset was a bit of a damp squib. And that ended the action for the end of day two. Well, good morning and a happy new year. It's the 1st of January and I'm on the banks of the River Foyle here in Derry. London Derry, depending which uh, side of the fence you're on. Uh, a lovely uh, start to the new year. Lovely and sunny, nice and still. Just taking a few pictures of this bridge, uh, like a millennium type bridge. Just going to have a walk around the town centre, see if we can have a look around the walls, see if we can find any nice compositions. Looks like some nice churches and what have you. So, uh, all in all, a really nice, pleasant start to the new year. So, I wish you all a happy new year and uh, we'll see what we can uh, catch in the middle of town. Right, here we are. Uh, this is Dunluce Castle on the Galway coast. Uh, not too great to photograph from here to be honest. I think probably the drone footage is probably doing more, um, more justice. Uh, getting out to sea and photographing coming back at it. It sort of gets a bit lost in the fields behind it here. Uh, I might try and take a couple of shots but I'm not overly optimistic of the shots with the camera uh, from here. I think uh, probably better from the air. But uh, we'll see, I'll get the drone up, show you some footage, a couple of photographs from the air and maybe one from here and uh, we'll compare. But I think the ones from the air will be better. Um, let's see. The coastline here is absolutely amazing. Just look at the beach and the waves behind me. It's just absolutely fantastic. It's about 15 minutes from the Giants Causeway, just down from Dunluce Castle. I've been taking a few different shots of the beach as I've been along, there's posts, all sorts of beautiful things. I'm just trying to work out how to shoot this behind me with all these big waves. Awesome. Well, here we are, Port Stewart for sunset. Beautiful setting. Nice bit of tone in the sky. A little water running off this little cliff here. Really, really nice. Just trying to capture some water movement. Maybe one second, two second shots. And we'll see how we get on. There's a bit of a castle on the uh, peninsula, which is quite nice. We'll see how we get on. It's uh, looking pretty promising. That's a bit of colour would help. see things are a little different from the last time I was here. Have a look at this. See what it was like last time I was here in the afternoon. So 
that was mad crazy. There's millions and millions of people here. Well, I'm the first one here this morning. There's not a soul here. I see a couple of people walking down the road behind me, but I am the first one here. So, play of the land, a load of cloud coming. It's not looking that promising actually, compared to what it was. But I'm going to try and make the most of a bad show. So, we'll crack on. Be busy for the next half an hour, but you're going to see some pictures hopefully of what I managed to achieve. Uh, and a bit of drone footage hopefully once, uh, once it gets a little bit more light. I just see a lot of people coming over the horizon, so I need to crack on. Final journey saw us travelling from the Giant's Causeway down to see the Dark Edges made famous by the Game of Thrones. Well, here we are. Location known as the Dark Edges, which is this tree lined uh, avenue of trees which were popularised by Game of Thrones apparently. Um, we managed to get a couple of shots so far with nobody on the street, which was uh, quite a few people here when we first got there, but uh, they've moved. And yeah, it's quite nice. Quite a nice little avenue of trees. Conditions aren't brilliant, but uh, hey, black and white be okay, I would say. back from um, the north coast of Northern Ireland, had a great time. Um, didn't really have as much time as we would have liked for a number of reasons, hire car didn't turn up, um, I wasn't able to get some footage because I lost my GoPro for a while and that took a bit of finding so um, apologies there wasn't as much sort of B-roll footage and it's a bit jumpy from location to location but um, as a first have a look in at Northern Ireland and also the Wild Atlantic Way up Southern Ireland um, some huge potential, huge potential, had a great time, uh, got some images, um, I don't think there's any sort of world beaters in there but some sort of reasonably nice images it'll do um, and certainly some encouragement to go back uh, hopefully in some slightly better conditions uh, and spend a little bit more time so hope you enjoyed our little trip uh, across the Northern Irish coast and uh, we'll see you again soon.